Alright, hello everybody. What we're going to be doing today is trying to prove that the square root of 2, designated by this sign right here, is irrational. To do this, we must first understand exactly what the terms rational and irrational mean. Well, a rational number is any number that can be expressed as a over b, a and b being any real number. So 3 would be expressed as 3 over 1, 1 is 1 over 1, 1 over 2 is a half, even 32 over 56, all rational numbers. But an irrational number is any number that cannot be expressed as a over b, such as the square root of 2, which is what we're trying to prove. So, proving that the square root of 2 is irrational begins by first assuming that the square root of 2 is rational. Now, this may seem strange to do, but just trust me and you'll see. So, assuming this, this, the square root of 2, has to equal a over b, a and b being any real number. Um, now, what we want to do is take a and b and eliminate any common factors between the two, which is basically like simplifying and reducing it to its simplest form. Getting this, we'll say we end up with c over d, being a and b in its lowest form. Now, to, what to remember about this number is that if c is even, d cannot be even, and if d is even, c cannot be even, because then it shares the common factor of 2. And remember, we've already simplified it from a over b to its simplest form. All right, so now, the square root of 2 is equal to c over d. An innocent equation, right? All right, well, let's square both sides of this. So now, we get 2 equals c squared over d squared. All right, now, to get rid of this pesky fraction here. Let's multiply both sides by d squared. Alright, so what does that give us? Well, it gives us 2d squared equals c squared. Alright, well from that equation, what have we learned about c squared? Well, it's 2 times d squared. And if it's 2 times d squared, then c squared is an even number. But if c squared is even, that also means that c is even. So, we've learned that c is even. Remember that, that's important. Alright, moving on. If c is even, it can be expressed as 2n. Alright, well, if it can be expressed as 2n, we can substitute 2n in, in the equation. So we see that 2d squared equals c squared, which is equal to 2n. Times 2n, or 2n squared. which is equal to 4n squared. Alright, so if we have 2d squared now equals 4n squared, what we can do is divide both of these by 2. What do we get by doing that? Well, we get d squared equals 2 n squared. And what does that tell us about d? Well, d squared is 2 times n squared. But wait, that makes d squared an even number. And if d squared is even, then d is also even. Now look at that. We have c is even and d is even. But we set up here 
that C if even cannot mean D is even. And if D is even, C cannot be even. So by doing this, we have contradicted ourselves in saying that C is even and D is even when we originally said that cannot happen. So what do we get from that? Well, it means that our original assumption is false. What exactly was our original assumption? Well, it was the square root of 2 is rational. So, contradicting ourselves and proving this false, we now see that the square root of 2 is irrational. Thank you all for watching. See you next time and have a nice day.